Today marks final justice for our daughter, Vicki Lynn. Our family has waited for 37 years, 8 months, and 22 days for this day to come. Vicki Lynn Hoskinson's family shares her memory this morning after the man convicted of kidnapping and killing her nearly four decades ago was executed. Good Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. Happening now, this marks the second execution so far in Arizona this year. Frank Jarvis Atwood was sentenced to death in 1987 for the kidnapping and murder of Vicki Lynn, an eight-year-old girl from Tucson. News for Tucson's Chorus Nylander joining us live outside the prison in Florence with the very latest this afternoon. Chorus. Yeah, well, this brings a nearly 38 year long legal process to a close, one that Vicki Lynn Hoskinson's family has desperately been waiting for at 10:16 this morning. Frank Atwood was declared dead, executed by lethal injection. Atwood was sentenced to death in 1987 for the kidnapping and murder of little Vicki Lynn Hoskinson, just eight years old. That murder taking place in 1984, Atwood uh, has been maintaining his uh, innocence throughout this process, this execution facing delay after delay, more than 90 legal events postponing this execution, those attempts leading right up to the moments before his death. For decades, it would be fair to say that the criminal justice system failed Vicki's family. That changed today. This process is finally over. Supreme Court denied this morning Atwood maintaining his innocence to the grave. No apology made to Vicki's family up to his last breath. This is the second execution in Arizona in less than a month, which are the first pair of executions in the state since 2014. Our Lapita Maria was selected by the state to witness this execution here today. I'm going to bring her in here right now. Uh, just tell us what you witnessed and what you saw today. Of course, I can tell you that I have witnessed several executions, and this one by far was the most calm and the most peaceful one. Uh, at 7.45 this morning, myself and uh, two other members of the Tucson media boarded a van that took us inside the prison walls, and when we arrived at the death chamber, to my right, Atwood's wife, attorneys, and members of his church, and to my left, law enforcement and Vicki Lynn's family. And to accommodate Atwood's bad back, a special pillow was placed on the table where he laid. Also in the room, a Greek Orthodox priest who was with him throughout the process. He placed a religious vestment over Atwood's head along with a medallion. Atwood looked over towards his wife a total of about three times and smiled at her. The process to get Atwood ready took about, oh, about 30 minutes. Uh, the entire time, you could hear Atwood's wife crying, and at 10.04, the execution order was read. At 10.10, Atwood was sedated, and as you mentioned, Chorus, at 10.16, the execution was complete. And again, I can tell you that it was very calm, very peaceful. The uh, Vicki Lynn Hoskinson's family seemed to breathe a sigh of relief because they have been waiting nearly 40 years for justice, for justice to be done for their daughter. And you saw it, I saw it in the press conference that came after the emotion from this family. Clearly a, a, a big moment for them, a triumphant moment to see this justice serve, one they have long been waiting for, Absolutely. as you know. Absolutely. And we're going to continue our team coverage on this throughout the day and remembering Vicki Lynn Hoskinson. For now, we're live from Florence, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. All right, thank you, Chorus and Lupita. Atwood's attorney sent out a statement prior to that execution this morning that reads in part, quote, from Mr. Atwood's conviction in a circumstantial case to the state's unconstitutional withholding of evidence pointing to an alternative suspect and now a lethal injection process in what will no doubt be tor a torturous execution. Mr. Atwood's case is demonstrative of the failures plaguing Arizona's death penalty, end quote.